Right, it's pinned to me now. Oh. That's it. The gears aren't very happy either. Right, welcome Zoomies. Still clicking away. That's better. I've mangled me cake, me outer cable, and I've got round to trimming the end off it. So my gears are clunking. Right, that's first minute. So just up your, up your pace now to 80. Look at that, bang on 80 without even trying. Nice and light. Right, system check, die. Make sure your ankles are moving, your knees are moving, hips are moving. Posture's good. You sat on the bike, that'd help. <laughs> what are you doing? The power is not connected, and I didn't know uh, it worked. Bollocks, never mind. Right, so you should be at 80, nice and light. But RPE too. Just get your joints going, have a do your system scan. If anything feels a bit tight or it's not moving comfortably, just focus on that for a bit. Exaggerate your knee movements, your ankle movements. Nice and relaxed. I think I'm going to take the TT bars off this. Is They're annoying me like anything. I thought they'd be a good idea, but they're not. I need to find another spare pair of 11 speed shifters, though. Right, just pick your cadence up to 90 now. You can stick a gear on if you want. Just do the last 30 seconds on that. And then we'll do a couple of primers. Right, so in five seconds, chuck on two or three gears. We're going to do 30 seconds at 100 RPM. Off you go. Get it up to 100 RPM. Gears really are bad. Just 30 seconds. Five to go. And off. So take the gears back off, leg come down to 80. Two gears is probably enough for that. What is this week's session? Pardon? What is this week's session? Right, it's a strength session. So it's a low cadence one. Right, five seconds, we're going to go again. Same again, this time 105. Two, one, go again. 105 this time. Five seconds, two, one, and off. Back down to 80 RPM. Last one of them to go. Ten seconds, this time 110. Three, two, one, off we go. Three. 
two, one, and back off. 30 seconds recovery. So we're going to do three minutes hard, low cadence, two minutes recovery, three minutes hard, two minutes recovery, three minutes hard. The cadence is going to keep dropping. We'll just have one more minute recovery and then we'll get on to it. Keep an eye on your heart rate. With this one, you should know it's a little bit lower. When you're on your efforts, I want you just below threshold. So that RPE, seven, eight, uh, about 90% of FTP. So if your FTP is 200, you want to be about 180. So you should find it easier. So if you've got your power meter, look at your power meter, because what you will notice is um, if you just write a feeling on this to heart rate, your heart rate will be lower. Right, going in 10 seconds. So you might have to put on one or two gears to get this. Again. So use the first one as just a muck about. Right, off we go. Go and find out what fits. Let the gears pull your cadence down. So you're aiming for 65. Cadence. Pardon? 65 cadence, because I've got no power. 65 cadence, RPE8 there. So it's just below threshold. So you're not quite out your, your threshold FTP if you had your power. So it should be hard, but you could probably keep it up for more than 20 minutes. But for the last minute, you should be like going, mm, yeah, not enjoying this. Make sure your cadence is low. What you'll find when you get down to 65 is it'll suddenly feel easier. So you might have to stick another gear on, but I'm going to stick another gear on. I won't mind, but I did something similar to this this morning by accident. It was a mix. It was high cadence, low cadence. Oh, for once, he said my warm-up was good. So you might have found you had to add about four or five gears for this. I've had to add four. Right, we're in the last minute now. That went quick, didn't it? Yeah. Thirty seconds to go. So make sure your pedaling's nice and even. You're not piston pedaling. Tendencies to get drawn into piston pedaling when you're doing power. Ten seconds to go. I thought we'd get this one out of the way earlier in the season. Three, two, one. Take all the gears off. Let it come back up to 90 RPM. So your recovery is a little bit faster. So you might need to take, a, take one less gear off because you're spinning faster. So we've got two minutes here. Rest, recovery. So this wants to be about 55% of your FTP. So you're about RPE4. 
slap bang in the middle of zone two when your heart rate catches up. I know there's something I was supposed to do at dinner time today. What? Sort my gears out. I'm going to fold the bike up out of the way. The handlebars twist round and it's broken the outer sheathing. Uh. My gears aren't changing right. Make sure your pedal is nice and smooth. You are at 90. Twenty seconds rest gone. Then we're gonna pull all the gears back on again and go again. This time sixty RPM. I think Jacob's fed him. Pardon? No. Boss's own. Right, off we go. Sorry, she was distracting me. Down to 60. So you might have to stick an extra gear on. I've got all my gears on, Mark. No, wait, even on your big ring? On my big ring, all my gears on. Come here. Right, what you yeah. need to do is in your, tur in your settings, in your Garmin, you can turn up the resistance. Your Garmin can control the resistance, so you might need to turn it up a notch. If yeah, you swipe I, down, I've if you got, swipe down from the top, it'll take you. You see indoor trainer, click on that, and I think you can you can up the resistance. Yeah, I have, it on, I have it on my screen. Go on. I can, but my power's my power's not connected. Ah. So I have to stop and reset, and I don't want to do that. It's not found me. It's not found me at training for some reason. Right. Maybe it's pig mine <laughs> Halfway through. Make sure you're on 60. One minute to go. seconds three two one take your gears off spin your legs back up to it to 90. Get a breather. Just relax a bit, get your breathing under control. You might find you've not been heavily breathing on that. It should still feel hard. RPE 8 is heavily loaded.
nice and easy. Keep breathing, breathing under control. Nice and relaxed on the bike. Spin it out. Nice, good form. One minute rest to go. Last set. Last rep for this set. So not having a big rest in between sets. We're just still keeping the two minutes going. We start the cycle again. 65, 60, 55. When you're at low cadence, just keep an eye on your knee joints. So the next one's going to be 55. You're probably definitely going to need to stick another gear on. Ten seconds. Two, one, go. Stick your gears on. All right, 55. I think I need another gear. Should be hard. This is why it's called the grinder. You're going to grind it out now. Make sure your pedaling is nice and smooth. You can almost exaggerate the movements for your box pedaling for this, because it's in such slow motion. So I'm bang on 90% FTP here. Probably about 95, so that's okay. First minute. So your heart rate is probably telling you, it's all right, this. Your legs are going to start complaining. If they're not, you need to stick another gear on. So the thing is with low cadence is, it's a good way to keep your heart rate down or to get your heart rate down. And you can still turn big power. But you can only use it for so long. High cadence gets your heart rate up, but you can use it for a lot longer. So the idea is you bounce between the both when you're out on a ride, especially a TT ride. You won't be able to keep this up for more than about 15, 20 minutes before your legs would start blowing up. Last minute. Oh, I've got to turn my fan on. That's why I'm getting red hot. Make sure you hold it. 55, last 30 seconds. So I think I've ended up sticking about five gears on. Last 10. And off. Take your gears off, spin it back up to 90. If you go into your sensors, you might be able to tell it to reconnect. You've got two minutes. <laughs> and I've got to turn my fan on. There we go. Oh! I mean, our race okay, actually. It's come down quick. So I think I, I probably got into about zone three then, even though I was pushing watts in zone four. Now it's just spinning, Mark. I don't know what's up here. It's doing my head in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
last 30 seconds. Then we're going again, but this time we're going down to 65. Right, I've added my power, but I can't, I can't get onto a screen where it's like to increase the grade. Bollocks. Three, two, one. Add your gears on. This time it's only 65, so you might not need to put as many on. I think I've found it. What's my power? I don't need another one. Oops. <clears throat> we'll get there eventually. Four I've got on now, I think. First minute. Make sure you're hitting 65. If you go above, you'll find it too easy. Halfway. One minute to go. Get your control pedaling. Nice box pedaling. So you're going through all four quadrants. Drive down, scrape, pull up, kick over. Thirty seconds to go. Nice and controlled, keep it at 65. Last 10, keep it smooth all the way home. Don't let your cadence pick up. Two, one, take the gears off. So keep it at 90, remember, nice and easy. Get a quick breather. Like I said, your breathing shouldn't be all over with this one. More of a threshold um, workout than anything else, but because you're low cadence, it's not really uh, working your heart rate at threshold. Make sure you are spinning about 90. You need to pump that lactic acid out a lot quicker. So a higher cadence. Doesn't matter. Don't need to worry about bringing your heart rate down because we're at higher cadence. Because your heart rate shouldn't really be that up. I'm sort of just tipping into zone three. I must have been somewhere in the middle of zone three, actually, because the fan, the fan kicked up to the next notch. Right, 30 seconds to go, and we're back on it again, this time 60. 
So Zoom is watching this at home. Um, just be careful at low cadences. If it starts to hurt your knee, first check your knee position's okay, but bring the cadence back up a little bit. You might have to work. It might take a couple of weeks to get your knee used to low cadence, putting that much power through it. Right, two, one, off you go. Two, three, four, five. Let it grind itself down to 60. That's it, near enough. Hold on, nearly there. 60. So you're probably going to have to stick another gear on now because your power's dropped. Settle into it. One minute in. Keep it on your cadence. Make sure your form's good. Use the whole power of the whole cycle of your pedaling. Low cadence, you pull up is your friend. You just go drive down and pull up though, you just go piston pedaling, that's no good. You need to iron out the dead spots in between the transition, that's where your kick and your drag comes in. Kick and your scrape. One minute to go. Call this one the grinder for a reason. Thirty seconds. Keep relaxed, get your shoulders down from your ears. Take the scowl off. Twenty seconds to go. Three, two, one, take the gears off. Spin it up to ninety. Remember, your power wants to be about 55, 60% of your FTP. So if you're at 200, you want to be about 110, 120 tops. If you're doing 90, it doesn't feel like you're doing anything. Don't need a loaded recovery with this. You probably end up increasing your heart rate more doing the loaded recovery than you would doing the main set. All right, one more minute to go. Last one of this, last rep of this set. Then there's one more set to go. So I've, I've tweaked the grinder this year. So it's a three-parter. It was a two-parter last year. So I've just altered it slightly. Thirty seconds. Make sure your cadence is up ninety.
It's when you do your gear shifts, use your gear shifts to pull your cadence down. So it's the opposite of what we were doing last week when we were getting our cadence up before we added the gears. Five seconds, three, two, one, stick them all back on again, going down to 55. Definitely going to stick an extra one back on now. Doesn't matter if you go over your power on this one. It just wants to be hard. You need to feel you're really having to drive the pedal around all the time. And if you stop pedaling, it's going to snack it straight away. So I think I'll put seven on for this one. I'm pretty much bang on. Cadence is a little bit fast, I'm about 57. Let me drop it down. It's better. One minute gone. Halfway. Keep it going nice and smooth, drive it, low cadence. So when you're doing 55, 60, 65, just keep a note which one felt the most comfortable. So if you're doing a TT and you've got the big ring on, you're pushing a big gear on a flat surface for a short period of time. You need to know which cadence works best for you. There's a sweet spot. Thirty seconds to go. Don't be tempted to spin up a bit. Keep an on it. Make sure your pedaling's good. Just check your quadrants. Pick a leg. Make sure it's going through all the movements. Drive down, scrape, pull up, kick over. Check the other leg. Then check both of them. If you weren't on form and you get it back on form, you notice your cadence suddenly jumps. Time. Did you get that? The time. Oh, yeah, sorry, we've gone over. Off. <laughs> Carried away then. I need me beeper. You only did 10 seconds over. Right, get it up to 90. I was doing so well as well. Right, that's it. Set two done. One more to go. So try and remember what gears you were in. And then next week, so you can just push it a little harder. I think what I do next week is I move it to 100 FTP, or it might be 95. Might be 100. So it is going to be harder next week. This is just a... Normally you would do this at FTP or slightly over, but I just want to make sure everybody's knees are used to this. I'll get my power meter started for next time. I think if you turn your turbo on and then don't turn your Garmin on straight away, sometimes your turbo goes to sleep 
I know my kicker does. I just leave it on and then I just connect my Garmin, but I didn't know it weren't connected. I didn't. Uh -huh. Yeah, if I leave my if I leave my kicker turned on, it goes into sleep mode, it turns off. Right, one more minute. I think. It's not, but we'll have one more minute for that. Right, well we're good now because we were ten minutes late. Right, good now. Right, sixty-five. I'll try and rein it back in. Press me watch this time to remind me. So 65 for this one. If it feels comfortable, stick another gear on. I think I've stuck an extra one on by accident. My, my FTP is about 220 now. Well, it's 220 watts. So that must be 110. The legs should be starting to moan a bit now. First minute done. Oh yeah, the blower's cooking up now. I need to do an FTP test. I think my FTP's miles off now. One more minute. I'll have a bit of an overrun on this one. I'll take it out of the recovery. Check your cadence, make sure you're 65. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, take them off. Get it up to 90. I'm spinning out in recovery at what my FTP was in January. <laughs> One more minute to go.
20 seconds to go. Three, two, one, stick them on. Down to 60. So we've got one too the far there. That's better. Yeah, so if you run out of gears, die, you might have to stick uh, turn your resistance up on your Garmin to control your turbo. Ah, no, it's not. It's no, not but I mean next next screen. week. Yeah. yeah, next week. I actually have uh, I've got it on one of the fields, so I can actually adjust it on the main screen if I need to. I think it just appears as grade, and then you can adjust it. Yeah. Two more minutes to go. One more rep after this, and we're done. Your legs should be moaning a bit now. 30 seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Three, two, one, take it off. Two minutes. I'm going to program this into the Garmin next week. I've got a bit lazy following my Garmin. More. The cadence nice and high. Oops, I'm a bit low. The towel's gone over me, my cadence. Thirty seconds back on. Three, two, one, stick it all on. Fifty-five. I might need another one. Yeah, another one.
first minute. Halfway. Ready at fifty five. One minute to go. So Zoom is at home. If you are, if you haven't got a cadence meter, should have said this earlier. Just watch my knees. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one, hand off. Spin it back up to 90, and then we'll do the cool down. So if you have the right resistance on, you should have noticed the last few, it's starting to get harder and harder. You're going to have to work harder to hold that cadence, whereas before you're probably trying to have to work quite hard keeping the cadence low, you're probably finding you have to work quite hard to keep, keep on cadence. That's because your muscles start to fatigue. So make sure we're up to 90 now. Come on, gears. So pull on the cable a bit. One minute done. So your heart rate should come back down now. It should be well into zone two again. I'll be surprised if most people got out of zone three. It's like legs day on the bike. Well, all right, all right. Yeah, sure. Right. 30 seconds. Yeah. 15. And we're just going to add a gear on. Just put the resistance back on a bit, but we're going to drop the cadence down to 85. Three, two, one. Stick a gear back on. Just let the cadence drift down to 85. Don't need a massive amount of recovery for this. So you cool down, you don't really need it. Your heart rate should be coming down already. You flush your muscles. Three minutes should do it in most cases. Might need to put a bit more on as we go through this and we step up the power. Oh, bangers. That means Bear will be down. Oh, there he goes. He's trying to get into his safe space. <laughs> 
Oh, he's gone into office. <laughs> right, just drop a cadence down to 80 now. Just let it spin out. If you want to take a gear off again, you can. A couple of leg drills now. Just focus on your left leg. Don't need to unclip. Right leg's a passenger. Just work your right leg. Oh, sorry, left leg. So think about your drive down, your scrape, your pull up, kick over the top. Nice amount of ankle flex, not over exaggerated. Now right, switch to the other side now. Focus on your right leg, same again. Drive down, scrape, pull up, kick over. Right, just drop it onto your easiest ring now. Just turn your legs over nice and easy. Last last minute, 70, 75 cadence. So how was that then? Did you feel that? Yeah, <clears throat> I need to start my power out though because yeah. it weren't, I couldn't get any more gears on. Yeah, you need to, yeah. Out. I, I put every single gear on, but I'm like not out of breath. Do you know what I mean? So I know. Yeah. I know well, it's... you shouldn't be out of breath, but what you should feel by that last set, yeah, yeah, your quads should be burning like we've just done, Sally. I couldn't even get down to 55, Mark. Right. I would have yeah. about 65, 70. That's our. Right. That's, okay. That's well, our... It's, a, it's a good warm up for next week to get your legs used to lower cadence. I know. You might. You might have to turn it up. I can't remember. You've got, you've got a tax, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I used to have my tax on about um, three bars. So when you go into the sensors and you can turn your resistance up within your Garmin device, I think you used to have it on three bars, and then that way it gave me a really good range. Yeah. Some, some of it I'd have to do my little ring as well. But then when you want to go really hard, you've got loads of gears to go at. Right. But as the, okay. this thing, this thing's... I have this set to one or two percent. It's hardly anything. I think what it was because I didn't. It didn't connect, and and then I yeah. started and I didn't. Yeah, when, when you be working without a connection, they they default to lowest. Yeah. Right. That's it. Just gradually bring it to an alt now. Last ten seconds. Just pedal backwards. Break that neuromuscular connection. I tend to find when I've done a, a strength leg session on the bike, I'm, I, I usually get off looking like step toe. Right, there you go. You know the drill, just come up on one leg, just stretch it out. That's it, turned it off. So just come up out of the stretch a little bit and then drop it back down again nice and gently. See if you can go a little bit further. Nice, relaxed breathing. Change over the other leg, same again, just gradually ease it down. Yes, as soon as you can't see my leg, I think you worked out what I'm doing. I'm just standing on one leg, dropping my heel down. Sorry, I'd, I was watching back my videos last week and I realised I didn't do half as much description as I'd normally do. And come up a bit and then drop back down again. We'll have a nice, quick, simple walk, cool down this week. That's it, come off the bike, kick your shoes off. Oh, nice puddle under there again. So usual drill, let's just stretch that quad out, especially as that's the main muscle we've been working today. So pick your foot up behind you. Make sure your pelvis is facing forward, knees together. Just drive forwards. Make sure you're nice and upright. Suck your belly in, pull your chest back, head up, chin up. Well, as Adrian says, head over the heart, heart over the hips. 
one last push, really stretch it. And release, same again on the other side. So bring knees together, pelvis facing forwards. Make sure you're nice and upright. As soon as you go upright, you'll feel it and then drive your bum forwards. Get that extra stretch. One last push. Really good stretch. Sit, release. So just take a long stride. And get the nice long stride. So runner's lunge. So just drive your heel down. I don't know if you can see my heel. So your knee should be over your ankle. Put your hands on your hips if you want. Just push that heel back. Heel doesn't have to be on the floor. So you're just feeling a nice gentle stretch down your Achilles, your calf, and then your hip flexor at the front. Now we're going to do is just drive your hips down, just push your bum down towards the floor, and then come up, then push down again. Come up, push down again. Really get low, really feel that hip flexor. That's it, come out of it, change sides. Nice long stance again, make sure that knee's directly above your ankle. Feet are on tram tracks, so they're like that. Drive that heel down at the back, make sure your back leg's straight. Just relax into it. So push your hips down, so you're lower to the floor. Come up, release, breathe in, breathe out, go down. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, go down. Real deep stretch. Last time, breathe in, come up. Breathe out, go down. That's it, come out. Just grab your wrist. Thumbs up in the air. Just lean over to the right hand side. Just pull gently on your wrist. Just feel that stretch all the way down your lat. Back over, change sides. back up, just shake your arms and hands on your shoulders, just rotate your shoulders forwards. Nice wide movements and then back the other way. Loosen them shoulders off. Sit, shake your arms off, well done. Right. Thank you. I'll see you next week. I'll stick the recording up, bang on that, bang on that. You won't see me. But oh yeah, you won't. Don't do worry, I'll record it. Thank you. See you Bye. later. See you Bye. later. Bye.